Hey guys, my name is Hamish, Wild Earth Australia Ambassador, and today I want to take you through the Ember 3 sleeping quilt from Cedar Summit. So let's get into it. So yeah, this is like my go-to quilt I've sort of been using for the past three, four months-ish. I've been using it sort of traveling overseas in like Austria and even in like the tropical areas like Taiwan and stuff. And then I've also been using it um, recently in Tassie in winter time. So I've sort of given it a bit of a run now and tried it in various conditions. So I'll give you sort of a review on what I think of it and sort of how it works and everything. So yeah, cool. So what's making this one up? Um, so the shell and also the inner lining is all 100% nylon. And then within that is the down, which is 850 loft goose down. So that's essentially what's making up the, um, the bag itself. So in terms of rating, um, this one is rated to negative four degrees for comfort, which is the rating you generally run off. Uh, that is what is gonna keep you warm comfortably. So at negative four degrees down to negative four, you're gonna be able to sleep comfortably warm. Uh, and then it has an extreme rating down to negative 10. So it'll push out to negative 10 degrees and still do the job. Um, Cedar Summit have also brought this one out in two lengths. So they've got the long, uh, which is this one, and also the regular. So the long one is um, out to 198 centimetres, which is pretty damn good. Um, I've actually liked it as a taller person. Definitely, like, for taller people looking for a bag, it's a good option. And then it obviously adds a little bit of weight, but, um, yeah, you've got the regular option there as well. The weight of this one is 830 grams packed, um, which is actually pretty decent for a long bag. Um, um, compared to some of the other bags around. So yeah, 830 grams and you've got yourself a full 198 centimeter bag, essentially. So obviously this one is a quilt, um, and for people who don't understand what that actually means, how it's different to a sleeping bag, it's essentially, um, it's not like one, one sock that you actually enter into. Uh, it's actually um, one like Duna style piece that has these straps which help it to like attach around your sleeping pad. Um, so yeah. So I guess what that means is you're taking out that um, down sleeping bag on your backside, and um, you're just sleeping directly on the sleeping the sleeping mat. Um, so when you're in a sleeping bag, what you're actually doing is you're compressing that. Um, that down so much on your back that it's actually not doing its job anymore, it's not insulating. So what this is um, essentially the answer to is um, avoiding that altogether and just going directly onto the mat. So um, that, that mat is what's insulating you from beneath anyway. So that is how that's working. So the sleeping pad just takes that out and, um, and wraps around. So the way this one works is it's essentially got these three little straps here which um, tighten and loosen to fit snug around your sleeping mat depending on which one you've got. So you'll, you'll put your sleeping mat in there and then you'll tighten these around it so it fits, fits snug around it. And I'll show you how that basically works. So uh, you've got your sleeping bag like so, your sleeping quilt I should say, uh, sleeping mat. Do. So, you just feed, so you'll feed the mat in like you've got your sleeping mat inside and then you'll just go to the straps and you'll just tighten them so that they fit um, around the mat like that. And then that's basically your setup like so. And then you just enter like a normal sleeping bag. So yeah. So from that point there, you can just treat it as like a normal sleeping bag. You could feed a sleeping liner in and then enter in the sleeping um, liner and then into the underneath the quilt, um, which sort of creates like your whole um, sleep system essentially, um, which is pretty nifty. The thing I've personally liked about using a quilt, um, sort of how it differs to a sleeping bag is, a sleeping bag is sort of your one piece. Once you're in it, you're sort of locked in. You can't really like maneuver it too much. Some have a bit of a zip feature that you can zip out a bit. Um, what this one is allowing you to do is to sort of adapt it to whatever you're sleeping in. So say you're a little bit too warm, um, you can actually like, for example, undo some of the tensioners and like loosen it off. So it's like you can put your arms out or you can put your feet out the end. Um, 
if it's if it's like hotter for example and you can almost make this just become like a doona sort of thing and then if you're in a situation where it's super cold you will just literally turn it into a sleeping bag tighten it right up around and like cocoon it up like a normal sleeping bag would be so um so yeah that's what i've personally liked most about it is um you can sort of adapt it to whatever you, you're wanting to use it for uh, i've done that in the winter in tassie and then i've in the tropics I've basically just like left it as a doona on top so another cool thing um, Cedar Summit have sort of done with these ones is if you've got two of them or you, you're with someone else who has one you can actually uh, turn it into like a double bed setup so they will link together and then wrap around two mats essentially which is kind of a cool option um, if you want to do that um, but yeah overall um, I have this is my first time using a quilt and personally I've really enjoyed it uh, just, um, it just feels a bit more like a bed, if I'm being honest. Like, um, it sort of takes that sort of um, claustrophobic aspect out of it and allows you to sort of do what do what you want um, with your sleeping bag. So, um, yeah, it's done. It's, it's kept me warm in the cold. Um, yeah, it's done. It's, it's done what it needs to do. Uh, it's a great bag. Um, pretty light for its size, uh, and yeah great insulation factor so yeah if you want to give a quill to go um, yeah I can recommend having a go at the Ember 3 from Cedar Summit.